Okay, this is how to remove a uh, DMS spring for replacement, uh, which involves removing the insert and the adjusting mechanisms. Uh, tools required uh, a nut gun, uh, 18mm socket, uh, 3mm Allen key, uh, 2mm Allen key, and a 1.5mm Allen key, uh, 7mm open end spanner, two straight head screwdrivers, a 13mm socket or something close to it, doesn't have to be exact. Um, 8 mil socket, um, soft hammer, Loctite high strength worth and marker paint uh, tip X or something similar. Um, so now we'll show you how to remove this. First thing is to zero your adjuster so you know where you stand. Put your white mark on your rebound adjuster to zero. Obviously record where it was first. So turn it around clockwise until you get it to zero. That's the zero point. So when you remove the whole insert you know where to put it back in again. Uh, you can count the clicks on your bump adjuster. Uh, so your hop or your rebound adjuster, sorry. Your rebound low speed. So you know you're happy where it was at um, before you remove it. So the 3mm Allen key fits into the slot on the side. Uh, gives you a, a holding point. Two mil Allen key removes the little grub. Anti-clockwise. That'll remove your blue adjuster. Uh, now you have to remove the actual adjusting mechanism, which is an eight mil. So again, your three mil into the side of your red rebound adjuster. Your eight mil socket goes in over the top all the way down onto the blower shrink, shank. Turn it anti-clockwise, it'll only go two or three threads and it'll pop out. You're not re-degassing or releasing oil. This little Allen key on the end is what does the adjusting in there. Uh, obviously you don't want to adjust that adjuster out too far otherwise you can cause problems but if you don't go anywhere past the flush point you can't cause a problem. So the adjuster stays to the side. Now that leaves us for our two straight heads to remove the red rebound adjuster. So you catch it both sides and just lever side to side, side to side and it'll pop out. Sometimes it can be quite tight but just keep rocking it back and forth and it'll pop off. Now that reveals our 18mm nut that's securing the insert into the body. There's a little grub on it, the 1.5mm allen key fits in there. Tight fit, turn that anti-clockwise a full turn is usually sufficient that'll release the grub now your 18mm socket anti-clockwise remove the nut one nut removed now screw that back on by finger till it's about a millimeter from touching the casing and now your socket be it 13mm something close to it Set it on over the socket. You're not touching the adjuster, you don't want to damage the adjuster. Give it a swift snap or two with your hammer to get it released. That's it released, so remove the nut. Set it to the side. Now, holding your spring and insert, you can remove the unit from this case. So now you have your insert sitting there. Obviously now you can remove your spring and replace with the spring you are fitting. Very important point is to clean the end of this area. It's got a chamfered recessed end there. You'll probably have a little bit of Loctite uh, residue on there so clean that off. You'll see the zero point scribed onto the insert which lines up with the zero point on the red adjuster. There's also a uh, punch mark on the side of this 7mm which uh, denotes the zero point so those two line up before you insert again put a dab of tip on it on this punch mark to highlight it for you because it's really useful when you go to insert it to get it lined up again so we're happy with our new spring on now slide the insert back in again uh, just taking care 
not to damage the top seal on the way in. Slide it all the way through. Now you have to watch that your tip X mark comes out in line with your zero. Don't have it coming out with line with one or two, it has to be in line with zero because that still denotes your zero mark. Make sure it's there. Apply some Loctite to the thread. That's the Loctite on. And now you're not back on. You can buzz it with the nut gun, but not too far. Now you put on your uh, torque wrench and torque that to 26 Newton meters. That's 26 Newton meters, no tighter. Remember that that's a hollow shaft, that adjuster is a hollow shaft, so if you over tighten it, you do risk the, the, the possibility of snapping it. So 26 Newton meters. When you've done that up, obviously make sure your white tip axe is still lined up with zero that it hasn't turned while you've been tightening. Uh, sometimes you may have to loosen it and bring it back a little bit past zero, so that when you tighten it up, it comes up to zero. Normally it doesn't, it stays there. Again, your 1.5mm Allen key, tighten up your grub screw to a nice little nip. Um, now you're ready for your bump adju rebound adjuster, your red one. Get your scribe mark coming up to zero. It lines up with your tip axe also. Your 13mm socket again on the end. Tap it home. That's that baby in. Now you're ready for your adjuster. Your low, low speed rebound adjuster. It has only got a couple of threads on the end of it and you have your Allen key in there. If you put it in that you feel the slot in, turn it anti-clockwise a few turns, a few more, you'll see your little adjuster coming up near the top. Leave a couple of threads down, don't bring it to the top, leave it a couple of threads down so you have room to get these threads on. Again, high strength Loctite onto those couple of very small threads. You don't want to put on a whole load of this stuff here. Just enough to go around the thread. Avoid getting it in on the adjuster itself because obviously if that hardens in there it leaves the adjuster very notchy and very difficult to use. So enough in there just to touch the threads. Now set it in. You can start it by finger. Then put your Adjuster back on again. Your 8mm. Put your 3mm in and nip this up. Don't over tighten it, you only have two threads to work with there. You just give it a little nip up, you'll feel it enough to do the job. Now, if you come out onto your adjuster again, you can feel your adjuster rotate back and forth. Now, you put your low speed bump, low speed rebound blue knob back on again. In. Your three mil to hold it, your two mil to tighten it up. Now you can load your settings back in again. Uh, it's on zero, so we can turn it around uh, to one or two or whatever you want. If you've gone to two and you want one, don't turn it back, just keep going in the clockwise direction. Around to three, back to zero, and up to one. So that's that set. Your rebound, low speed, 20 usable clicks, turn it clockwise till it goes all the way in. That's a stop, that's a full hard. And then one click, two click, three click, four click, five click, six click, seven click, eight click, nine click, ten click out. Depending on where it was originally, put it back to this point. That's it built back together again. You have your spring back on again. Your unit sealed back up again. Your settings are in. Your Loctite's on. Job done.